Your information. You don't have the driver has been struck. He still has a gun. I've, I've fired multiple times. Tonight, we're taking a closer look at the video released today showing the moments a Little Rock police officer shot and killed a man just last month. Good evening, I'm Kevin Kelly. I'm Donna Terrell. The city released several angles of the shooting, including the police car's dash cam footage. The shooting happened February 22nd. 30-year-old Bradley Blackshire was killed. Officer Charles Starks was injured and has since been relieved of duty. Fox 16's Mitch McCoy live at police headquarters tonight tonight with a breakdown of that video. Mitch. Kevin and Donna, good evening to you both. The city released about 25 minutes worth of footage today, and it's different angles from business surveillance cameras to city street cameras and the dash camera footage. We're going to walk you through it all, but before we do, we want to warn you, the video you're about to see is graphic. Ocean 52 to any northwest in around 12th and University. It started just after 11 a.m. on February 22nd when Little Rock police say a license plate reader alerted detectives to a stolen car. Police say they use city cameras to track it from 12th Street to Fair Park and until Rodney Parham and Canis, which is when officers caught up. Hands, hands. That's Officer Charles Starks talking to 30-year-old Bradley Blackshire. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. Dude, get out of the car. Get out of the car. He's refusing to get out of the car. A few seconds later. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. Get out of the car, dude. Just one. Just one. Just one. Watch from this angle as another officer comes to help. You can see the shooting unfold on a business surveillance camera here. It's after shots are fired. The woman in the car gets out. Hey, can I jump out? Get out. Come over here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Get on the ground for me. He has a gun. <laughs> he, hey, she said he's got a gun. As more officers show up, they try to get medical help for Blackshire. He, he might be 10-7 right now, but we need to pull him out of the car for him. The 30-year-old died. Officer Starks can be heard on the video saying he might have sprained his knee. It's important to note that the Blackshire family and Officer Stark's attorney, they both viewed that video earlier today before it was released publicly. We are told that the criminal investigation of the shooting has finished. It is now in the hands of the Pulaski County Prosecutor's Office, and we're told that multiple attorneys will look and review the file and determine if any charges will be filed. We're live at police headquarters tonight. Mitch McCoy, Fox 16 News. Mitch, it's going, to, it's going to be interesting to see what kind of uh, interpretations the officials come up with after they examine that video. But prior to it being released, we know the mayor of Little Rock held a press conference in which he said the reason why we're releasing this is transparency. But he also had a strong message for all our Kansans who are, wanted to watch it. Yeah, he said that this was going to invoke a lot of emotions and he asked for people to stay calm during and after watching the video saying that uh, he hopes that people will just wait for due process to play itself out. It's also worth noting that the mayor mentioned something about the Arkansas State Police coming in to start an investigation of their own, an independent investigation, if you want to call it that. We are told that the state police uh, said that it was just too late. Uh, they said that we're in day 13 and they can't come in uh, to start their own uh, from scratch investigation. Back yeah, to you. They like to be involved at the very beginning. All right, Mitch McCoy live for us. Mitch, thank you. By our account, Officer Starks ordered Bradley Blackshire to roll down his window twice, ordered him to get out of the car 12 times, and fired a total of 15 shots into the car. The entire video released by LRPD featuring every available angle is nearly 25 minutes long. If you'd like to watch it for yourself, we've posted a link online at fox16.com.